we're today we're jumping into Sherlock. This is season three, episode two. I can't give much of an intro because my allergies is acting up, so I lose my voice just randomly whenever my voice wants to leave. But we are back here on Baker Street, and we're going to be watching Sherlock. We have two more episodes of this season. How many more seasons do we have to go? Only one more, one more season, um, with only three episodes, and then we're going to be done with Sherlock. It has been a journey, guys. You know I drop this once in a while. This show is equivalent to a movie, so it takes me a very long time to edit, and it also takes a lot of battery life on the camera, so child, it's very rare that I actually watch the show. And generally, it gets copyright claimed. If you would like to see this in full reaction, just because it probably will be copyright claimed, you guys could join the platform on the second and third tier here on this platform that will always help copyright my sh as well as my other platform, Patreon. So guys, once again, if you would like to see this in a full reaction, please join one of those platforms today. Now, the begging portion of my reaction, please like the video, please share the video. Don't forget to comment down below. And without further ado, let's jump into Sherlock and find out exactly what Sherlock has got to give. It just walked out of there. Paul Waters family. They just walked right out of there. Greedy. They'll do it again. And next time we're going to catch him in the act. No kids? They always know we're coming. In the act! They must be bloody pleased with themselves. It must be. Hey, you got to make the arrest. This one's yours, boss. You know, call me boss before. This is a good day. Not for the Waters family. Sorry, I better get this. It's him, isn't it? James will get all the credit if you leave now. You know he will. Yeah, it yeah, doesn't matter. I'll have to go. Maximum backup. Baker Street now. What's going on? This is hard. Did you know any funny stories about John? Didn't have any trouble, did you? I'm making a question that's physically painful watching you think. I am composing. You are dancing. I'm bringing you your morning tea. You're not usually awake. Your mother has a lot to answer for. Mm, I know. I have a list. The wedding. John and Mary getting married. A short holiday, then carry on living together. What's big about that? You wouldn't understand because you always live alone. Marriage changes you as a person in ways that you can't imagine. They're usually biscuits. I've run out. At the shops. And who leaves a wedding early? So sad. Got plenty of time. Biscuits. To... <gasps> I really am going to have a word with your mother. That's right. I forgot he's getting married. Into battle. Uh, just the bride and groom, please. Three, two, one, cheese. No sex, okay? Sorry. Bridesmaid, best man, it's a bit traditional. It's all the thing you're looking for, the man over there in blue is your best bet through erectile dysfunction. You're going to be incredibly useful. Lovely to meet you. How are you? David! Oh, hello. David, this is Sherlock. Um, what exactly are my duties as an usher? Do what? Well, I think you know what. You went out with her for two years. If she tweets, you respond within five minutes, regardless of time or current location. One is always partly or entirely excluded. <laughs> I think from now on we'll downgrade you to casual acquaintance. I have your contact details. I will be monitoring. <laughs> Bloody psychopath. Yes. High-functioning sociopath. Ooh. With your number. Hello. You should come out of his shell. I don't know how you did it. Basically, it's a cute smile to the bride's side, cute smile to the groom's side. I do have to wear the outfit. What for? Grown-ups like that sort of thing. Why? He solves any murders? Sure, loads. Can I see? What sort of stuff in his eye? Maggots. Cool. Good. Beheading. Lovely little village. Mm -hmm. Nice. Traces of two leading brands of deodorant both advertised for their strengths. What about his friend? Long-term relationship. Compulsive cheat. Seriously? Went to the shower with him, which means he often received texts and emails he'd rather went unseen. So, Harry? Uh, no, no show. Free bar. Wouldn't have been a good mix. Harry? Is that... He came. Oh. Does he barely even mention him? He mentions him all the time to me. He never shuts up about him. He shows this wine. It's bloody awful. It's, it's definitely him that he talks about. I know you don't really uh, do this sort of thing. 
Well, I do for old friends, Watson. No more need for the trick cyclist? No, I, I go now and then. He's almost a recluse, you know, since... Yes. He says he's the most unsociable man he's ever met. He is. He's the most unsociable. Neither of us were the first, you know. Stop smiling. I've caught you in a compromising position where you've been working out again. Private jets commandeered. Today. It's today, isn't it? This is it, then. The big day. No, I don't understand. Uh, it's the end of an era, isn't it? I know, I prefer to think of it as the beginning of a new chapter. You have a big speech or something, don't you? They get married. I warned you, don't. Get involved. Do give the happy couple my best. Do you remember Redbeard? Enjoy not getting involved, Sherlock. Family and friends. Also... Is that brain? What if John asked Sherlock to be his best man? There'd be actual people there actually listening. Well, what's the worst that could happen? What, the speech, dear? I know, it'd be fine. I was going to see Sherlock and I thought you were <laughs> possibly dying. <laughs> telegrams. Not actually telegrams, we just call them telegrams. I don't know why. Wedding tradition. To John and Mary, all good wishes for your special day. <laughs> Oodles of love and heaps of good wishes from Cam. Love, love. Love, love, bit of a thing, you get the general just peak. When John first broached the subject of being best man, I was confused. I was Mrs. Hudson laughing. So that she was torturing an owl. Occupying myself sometimes, it's so hard not smoking. The best man. The best man. He managed to save three hospitals from closure. Shaved against the garrottings on balance, I'd say. For my wedding. Gavin Lestrade, he's a man and good at it. No, Mike's great, but he's not my best friend. The biggest and most important day of my life. Uh, no, it is. Two people that I love and care about, to Mary Morstan. Yes. You. I expressed to him that I was both flattered and surprised. I explained to him that I'd never expected this request. None that has promised that I would do my very best. <laughs> Said none of this out loud. <laughs> you, you mean? Yes. You're my best friend. <laughs> well, how was that? Surprisingly OK. <laughs> Wedding is, in my considered opinion, the celebration of all that is false and specious. Today we honour the death watch beetle that is the doom of our society. But anyway, let's talk about John. Please. Fine qualities of his own that he has overlooked in his obsession with me. In fact, I believe the brides tend to favour exceptionally plain brides. Maybe if God were not a ludicrous fantasy, a career opportunity for the family idiot. Um, the most unpleasant. I am dismissive of the virtuous and uncomprehending in the face of the happy. The bravest and kindest and wisest, redeemed only by the warmth and constancy of your friendship. When I say you deserve this man, the highest compliment of which I am capable, never let you down and we have a lifetime ahead to prove that. <laughs> ah, yes. Now onto some funny stories about John. <laughs> What's wrong? What happened? Why are you all doing that? John? I haven't finished yet. Yeah, I know. I know. So onto some funny stories about John. <laughs> John's blog. <laughs> Called some strange cases. The hollow client. Poison giant. It's done, John! 812 matchboxes, all empty except this one. Touching cases. Oh, she's gonna do it? No, she's leaving. Oscillation on the pavement always means there's a love affair. Bloody guardsmen. Orphans lot. Friends, that's all I have. Lots of friends. John's cousin, top table. Mm, hates you. Attempts at licking. She's obviously unconsciously retaining saliva. <coughs> Who else hates me? That's great, thanks. Priceless painting. Oh, John's old commanding officer. I don't think he's coming. He'll be there. My husband is three people. It's interesting. Not John. I can tell when you're fibbing. Okay, I learned it on YouTube. Oh, hi, Beth. Actually, if that's Beth, it's probably for me too. Hang on. As we don't have a friend called Beth, he's going to figure out that he's coming. But you know when you're scared of something, you start wishing it sooner just to get it all going. You need to run him, okay? Show him it's still the good old days. That just sort of happened. Smelled 18 different perfumes, like the bridesmaids in purple. Lilac. Lilac. Anything, pick one. Pick what? <laughs> a case. Your inbox is bursting. Don't worry about a thing, I'll get you out of this. I'm a private in Her Majesty's household guard. But I think someone's stalking me. Someone's watching me. I don't want to mention it to the Major, but it's really preying on my mind. Uniform fetishist. All the nice girls like a soldier. Please. Elite guard. 40 enlisted men and officers. Sherlock to help me choose some, uh, Tight. socks. That'll take a while, right? My coat in there? Yes. Come on, Sherlock. Coming. We're here to see Private Stephen Bainbridge. He's on duty right now, sir. Do you think they give him classes? To resist the temptation to scratch their behinds? 
So why don't you see him anymore? Who? Your previous commander, Sholto. Previous suggests that I currently have a commander. Which you don't. Which I don't. <coughs> he led a team of crows into battle. Crows? A new recruit. They all died. He was the only survivor. Oh, damn. Why have you suddenly taken an interest in another human being? Don't be trying that again. Changing the subject completely. We'll still be doing all this. Oh, good. If you were worried. She has completely turned my life around. The last few years, there are two people who have done that, and the other one is a complete dickhead. What do you really want? I'm here on a legitimate inquiry. Captain John Watson, 5th Northumberland Fusilier. Retired. Hey, Briggs! Gentlemen, here to see you! Around with it. Detective, the one with the silly hat. Damned if he's going to get up to cloak and dagger nonsense like this. Uh, What's going on? It's Bainbridge, sir. He's dead. Mark. No, uh, let me take a look, sir. I'm a doctor. What? Well, this one's snooping around. Is that what this is all about? Bridge was on parade. He came off duty five minutes ago. When's this supposed to have happened? He got into the shower and then someone stabbed him. The cubicle was locked from the inside. John Watson, 5th Northumberland Fusiliers. Three years in Afghanistan. Let me examine this body. There is. A wound to the abdomen. Hello. Yeah, no. Mm-hmm. He's still breathing. Call an ambulance now! Do it! Private Bainbridge had just come off guard duty. Came off duty and within minutes was nearly dead. A murderer who can walk through walls. A weapon that can vanish. Would anyone like to make a guess? No. Yeah, you. You're a detective, broadly speaking. Got a theory? No. Uh, maybe a, a ballista or a, or, a, or a catapult. Yeah, we're, look, we're looking for a, a, a dwarf. Brilliant. Really? No. Next. Attempted suicide with a blade made of compacted blood and bone. You need to dig it. Yes. While I was trying to solve a murder, instead saved a life. The best and bravest man I know, and on top of that, he actually knows how to do stuff. This itself remains the most ingenious and brilliantly planned murder. How, how was it done? How was what done? The stabbing. I'm afraid I don't know. I didn't solve that one. Murder scenes. To go for a drink in every, in every street, street where, where you found a corpse or a graduate chemist. Can't you just work it out? I like the practical experience. And you think I like a drink? Occasionally. But I am a drunk. No. Tom? Not a sociopath. Still good. I want you to calculate John's ideal intake and mine. And to remain in the sweet spot. Why is it 43.7 milliliters? Oh, we're on a schedule. You'll thank me. Toilets, any second now, you're going to... Hang on, tell me after, I need the loot. Estimate approximate volume discharge. Stop talking now. Oh. Do you have a disinterested reputation? Crime. Something like that. You're doing back, I thought you were going to be out late. Ah, uh, how does... Ah. You, or the... Is he human? Yes or no, okay, and am I... Man. Ish. Clever? I'd say so. Would. No, they don't. You tend to rub them up the wrong way. Okay. I don't know who you are. I don't know who you're supposed to be. You pick the name! So I am human. I'm not as tall as people think I am. Which one of you is Sherlock Holmes? <laughs> to automatically connect. We had one night. I'd love to have gone further, but I thought... Take it slowly. Exchange numbers. At least he'd call to say that we were finished. To his flat. No trace of him. I had dinner with a ghost. Ooh. With a ghost, Mr. Holmes. Uh, boring, boring, boring. The man who lived there died. I found this thing online. Girls who think they're dating men from the spirit world. Yeah, I'm there if you want it. John, wake up. You all right? Hmm? Yeah, it's clearing. What? Hey, Mr. Detective, it's Sherlock Holmes and his partner, John Hamish Watson. Compromise the integrity. Oh, crime scene. Wakey, wakey! Oh, my God. What a couple of lightweights. You couldn't even make it to closing time. It was, truly. That woman, Tessa, wasted opportunity. It's just like old times, having you back here. We'll be visiting, you know. Ooh, I've heard that one before. You meet new people because you're a couple. Let your old friends slip away. It won't be like that. It wouldn't work, but I just got sort of swept along. Right. The drugs. Drugs. He was running a um, cartel when he was actually arrested for blowing someone's head off. I was quite relieved, to be honest. There are going to be others. 
others. Victims, women. Oh. Not you. Not you. Not you. Not you. Not you. Not you. How did you meet? Came up to me in a pub. Same gym as me. Mike. Terry. Love monkey. Four women in four nights. You must have something special. Let your food go cold. Mrs. Uh, Hudson will play hell. <gasps> he had a lovely manner. Uh, Short blonde hair. Dark hair. Long ginger. He had a mask on. He's using the dead man's flat under the assumption it'll be empty for a while. I feel sick. It's gruesome. Clever. Bastard. Back to business, no one wants to use a dead man's home. At least not until it's been cleared. Not a ghost, John. He's a mayfly. He lives for a day. Private nurse. I do security work. Maid. Obvious. You all work for the same person. Wine in front of the telly. Dungeon. Chanel. Chanel. Estee Lauder. Home loving. We'd have to like cuddling. One, that someone who isn't competitive with other men. Two. None of you reported anything stolen. Mounting his way up a pecking order. Somebody's pecking order. Come on. Do you have a secret you'd never tell them? No. no. Gotcha. Some secrets have to stay secret. Enjoy the wedding. It changes identity. Well, maybe he's married. Powers of disguise to play the field. He was probably should have told you about the elephant in the room. We'll solve your murder, but it takes John Watson to save your life. They've mine so many times and in so many ways. From now on, there's a new story. Charge your glasses and be upstanding. Elizabeth Watson and John Hamish Watson. Every single one of us is... Hamish Watson. You said that. Look, Holmes and his partner, John Hamish Watson. How did you know his middle name? Never tells anyone. He hates it. Humphrey. Shut up. That's my birth certificate. Yep. Hamish. <clears throat> That's where she is. Does it have to be on the invitation? Enjoy the wedding. You're about the wedding. More importantly, you'd seen a wedding invitation. What do we say about coincidence? The universe is rarely so lazy. Went to great lengths to find out something about this wedding. What great length? They lie. Diligence. Planning. Clearly. The Mayfly man is here today. Something is going to happen right here. Where were we? Could be any second. We have control of the room. Ah, yes. Don't lose it. And down again. Ladies and gentlemen, people tell you not to milk a good speech. Part two. Part two is more action. Bother to go to any lengths to get themselves to a wedding. Weddings are great. Love a wedding. What's he doing? Something's wrong. He go on all night about the depth once. Might not be peace. Might not be him. And he took Ready? Sorry. Criminal intent. Where was I? Ah, yes. All of which is suggestive of... Murder. Sorry, did I say murder? Participants tend to know each other and it's over when one of them's dead. Girlfriend's wearing brand new uncomfortable underwear and he's going home alone. Also, he's a comics and sci-fi geek. Yeah, actually, now you mention it. I finally get the chance to speak for once, Patrick and Cam. Battle stations. Someone's gonna die. What? Narrow it down. No! No! John Watson, you keep me right. Sorry. off piste a bit. Back now. Phew! Imagine someone's gonna get murdered at a wedding. You're a popular choice at the moment, dear. Ah, sorry. Could you only kill? At a wedding. Don, I'd poison. Sloppy eater. Dead easy. He's pissed, isn't he? Ow! So, once again, ah. has to be a unique opportunity. Someone private, perhaps. Possibly someone under threat. Living these days. Oh, way out in the middle of nowhere. All household staff. Job. Gardener. Security work. Probably all signed confidentiality agreement. Kill someone in public. There has to be a way. This has been planned. Invisible man with an invisible knife. Break. I'll just plan, planned and rehearsed. Major Schultz is going to be murdered. I don't know how or by whom, but it's going to happen. <laughs> Major Schultz! What's about to make an attempt on my life? It won't be the first time. I have a gun in my hand and a lifetime of unfortunate reflexes. How he does it so I can't stop him and that means he'll do it again. Solve it then. Tell me how he did it and I'll open the door. I really don't approve of collateral damage. What's she talking about? Get your wife under control. She's right. There's a man in there about to die. The game is on. Solve it! I'm afraid you've already been killed several hours ago. Bainbridge was stabbed hours before we even saw him, but it was through his belt. The, the belt would bind the flesh together when it was tied. Exactly. Out. I was to be killed by my uniform. How appropriate. I couldn't imagine life out of this uniform. So many want you dead, it hardly seems good manners to argue. Well, kick this door down! Mr. Holmes, you and I are similar, I think. Time to die, isn't there? Of course there is. Of course, Wancher, but not at John's wedding. We would never do that to John Watson. I'm gonna break it down. Wait, 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 you won't have to. Hmm? 
I believe I am in need of medical attention. I'm pretty good. Just hold your nerve on your tongue. Well, you're a good teacher. And you're a brilliant dancer. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Glad to see you, Paul, Sherlock. What with murderers running right at my way. We should have done faster. Ah, yeah. There's a murderer in these photographs. It's not what's in the photographs, it's what's not in them. There's a man at a wedding who is not in any photograph. And you never even see his face. The camera. Today's substitute wedding photographer, known to us as the Mayfly Man. Johnny sought revenge on Sholto, worked his way through Sholto's staff. So he made his plan and rehearsed the murder. Oh, in fairness, his photographs are actually quite good. Do you always carry handcuffs? Don't go. Come on, quick. He's the killer, not me. I should have killed him quicker. You should have driven faster. Apologies for earlier. A crisis arose and was dealt with. Whatever it takes, whatever happened, I will always be there for all three of you. I'm sorry, I mean, I mean, two of them. perception. Oh, I chose this wine. It's bloody awful. And signs of three. Huh? How did he notice before me I'm a bloody doctor? Actually, the best parents in the world. Look at all the practice you've had. You're going to need me around now that you've got a real baby on the way. We can't just stand here and all wonder what we're talking about. But let's go. This is the waltz, is it? No. <laughs> I love this episode. All of Dr. Um, Dr. Holmes, all of Sherlock Holmes, the TV show, this, the shows are super long, so like it kind of drags out for me, but overall, it's just really good. Um, this episode is one of my favorite, one of my favorite episodes um, thus far that I've seen of Sherlock. Uh, it, like, I liked how they did the play on with the church, like at the wedding, and we were following these other um, things, but why did, oh, okay, I got it. Wait, how did that woman know his middle name though other than looking at the invitations like she obviously didn't play a role in it I'm kind of sorry and I always get confused by the cases that happen so like because I'm kind of confused why that guy messed with all those women and different places like what did the women have to do with anything and then how did that woman know his middle name I mean I'm sure the show let you know but with me you know guys I zone in I zone out I stop in I say hello I listen a little bit then I drop the back out um, but yeah, it was really good. I think I would rate this a 9, actually, to tell you the truth. I really did enjoy it, and I can't wait to edit it. That's how I kind of judge my shows. If I can, like, get excited about when I edit it, that means I have to rewatch it all over again, um, then I know it was pretty pretty good. Definitely a rewatchable episode. Um, so I really did like the villain. The villain, um, the main person who was trying to kill that guy. I first, for 2.5 seconds, thought he was going to, the soldier was going to be the bad guy out of this, but then it became too obvious and then it seemed like he was kind of like he then when he started telling us about everything that happened everything happened in his life I was like yeah I don't see him being the villain I think there's something else going on and then they were kind of dropping clues and hints that other people wanted him dead so I was like okay he's the target um the standing out target but it was pretty cool that I never thought about having like something that would stab you and then when you take it out which actually does happen um if it's stab if you're stabbed in the right spot it's better to leave the weapon inside than when you take it out if you're not and it's right away medical uh, uh, facility because when you take it out you just bleed right to death some people I believe that some spots if it hits an artery if once it's taken out you could like die in 30 seconds no shade like seriously so it's pretty cool like and then you didn't even feel it because it's such a thin pin and like how tight everything was um so, wow, what a way to kill ya. Um, so, yeah, I really did like this episode. Definitely rewatchable. We got um, Dr. Watson, he's married, he's having a kid. Um, 
I always get so jealous at like fairy tale shows or movies because like I don't live in that fairy tale, and um, I always think about my ex who's trash, and like I'm like ugh. So anytime I see other people happy, I'm always like ugh, screw them. But overall, great episode. I'm very very excited to continue on the journey. You guys know the journey is not going to continue on until a little while from now. I do try to catch up to other shows. This is legit and equal to a movie, so I do space these out because it takes a very long time to edit it um but thank you guys for waiting on the sherlock journey love you guys and i'll see you guys next time with more sherlock